yo 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 welcome to another division two video this video i'm gonna I'm a break down a few things and i'm surprised more people in the community aren't talking about this and to be honest there's a lot of things we need to discuss today right this is very important that everybody knows this so you know just sit back relax turn the volume up do what you continue doing what you're doing go about your day but most importantly smash the like button if you enjoy this content and share this video to as many people as you possibly can because I believe everybody needs to know what's going on, right? So we have the expertise system. We're all grinding our ass off, trying our best to get this done. Now, I gave out a method that's gonna make it a little easier for you to get your expertise up. This method is still viable, it still works, and no, it is not a glitch. You cannot be banned for it. You can, it does not breach terms of service. I already spoke to developers and they have confirmed that nothing can happen from you doing this at the tomb. So, you know, what you want to do is you want to get all of your gear proficient, right? So all of my gear is now proficient, all of it, green gear, yellow gear, all proficient, right? But now I'm level 11 and I've been doing this by just grinding the gear and donating a lot of items and resources. But here's the kicker we don't know what the max expertise is and what do you mean by we don't know so let, let's go into exhibit a okay so exhibit a we have somebody here that grinded his ass off did what he had to do um overseas of course it's not english however they are max expertise level 344 out of 344 items and they have a, a, a expertise level of 221 right so there's so many things that i'm confused about right and i think the community is confused about because if this is the cap there needs to be a number what is the cap what do you mean by that vibes when you go through warlords of new york you can't finish warlords of new york at a cap of level 42, level 45, level 41, level 48. It can't happen. You will be stuck at level 40. That's what the cap is. And then you get your watch and your journey begins, right? So if there's only 344 items, the level of the expertise system should only scale with the amount of items you have now, uh, raised up to proficient so if you have raised certain items up to level 10 and now that item is proficient that should go up according to the amount of items that's getting close to being proficient but the reason why i'm saying it's broken is because we have exhibit b now we have exhibit b 220 items out of 344 and there's a level of 30 which seems to be capped. So it seems, in my opinion, that the cap is level 30. Now, here's where the questions come into play. How does that level 21 character, if everything is done and you can't get the level up, how does that level 21 character get his expertise level up to 30? To continue to donate the same items over and over again? What's gonna raise that number? If everything's proficient, how is the number continuously being raised? That's the logic. But then again, how does this number not get raised? Because this is a level 30 expertise level and he still has a lot of items left. It's over 124 items left to be maxed at expertise and they're already on level 30. So the question remains what's the cap now we're going to dive fully into how this can affect the entire game so how can this affect the entire game right there's so many things that could happen because of this now for me my grind is to get my items proficient to make my builds more efficient which is then going to allow me to raise the level of my items on my build to whatever level my expertise level is now, is there going to be a hard cap in PvP? Just like we have a hard cap on items, we have a hard cap on gear, we have a hard cap on damage, the amount of damage that you get, the amount of unbreakable that you receive back once approximately the dark zone 
as into or PvP as opposed to the open world. The open world you get 95% and PvP it's, it's a significantly lower amount. So the question remains, is there going to be a cap for PvP? Because then you'll have a level 30 uh proficient player who is fighting against a player who has a level 20 or 21 watch or 22 watch who can't get it up to 30 because they don't have any other options on how to get their gear up. Because once you become proficient, you can't unproficient your gear and get it proficient again. You would have to then create another character to try to do the grind differently to try to get a higher watch or not a higher watch, but a get, try to get a higher expertise level in order to be able to compete with different players that have all different types of watches or expertise levels. Because at the end of the day, everyone plays the game differently. We all have a different grind to the game. Now, to me, the reason why I say it's broken is how do you get this portion of the game wrong? Because the game is mainly PvE focused at the moment. So <clears throat> we get it. Nothing's coming to the PvP community. We're probably not going to get any any content or anything of that sort. But what I'm saying is this jet this directly affects PvE and PvP. You know, what if I'm grinding my ass off and I'm at a level 21 watch and a, a, a clan mate of mine is at a level 30? And he's also max, and I'm max. Like how that takes away the experience from from myself and my clanmate. My clanmate might have a better experience than me now because he has a level thirty king breaker, or a level twenty five king breaker, and I'm maxed at twenty, and I have a level twenty king breaker. So to me, that's a broken system. The same way we have a hard cap on levels when we used to have gear scores, we used to have a certain amount depending on how you play the game, that you would get or not get. There can't be this abyss of like, we don't know. Whatever number you get is whatever number you get. The same, like I said, I, I reiterate it. I'll bring it back to Warlords of New York. You get to level 40 and that's your level. You can't go higher than 40, right? So if you can't go above 40, you can't finish. You can't beat Keener at level 50. You're going to be 40 no matter what. It's a cap. So... We need to figure out, and the devs need to get on this, because at, in, in the moment, I would say the way we grind in it, it could have an effect on how you cap out. And I think it's ignorant, and to be honest, it's negligent to not even have had a state of the game or a full breakdown of the expertise system to, to it just explain to the community how it caps out and where you cap out at and what level you should possibly be on once you reach 344 items proficient out of 344. Same page and we'll know what's going on going forward and we don't have to deal with broken systems. And a system that honestly has never even been explained upon release. This is the proper way to use it. This is the proper way to level up. When you reach proficiency, this is where you should be. This is what your build should look like. As a matter of fact, here guys, let's show you an example of a, of a player who's level 20, because that's our cap. So now we know, oh, I'm level 11, nine more levels to go, and I'm maxed. That's, that's you know, pushing it forward. That's keeping it real with the community, allowing people to be able to jump in, knowing exactly what the grind is about. And I know the expertise system was dropped to buy the developers and our content creators and everybody that's making the game great more time. But you still have to explain things and things still need to be clear. Even if you don't explain it, it still needs to be clear about where the grind is. You don't have to explain level 40. We know once we grind it, you're going to be level 40. It's obvious. So there's certain things that's just up in the air and imbalanced and not clear right now. So to me, this system is broken right i'm just going to continue to grind it still i'm not sure how they're going to fix it what i would say though is put a hard cap and you don't have to worry about fixing it meaning like if there's somebody on level 30 or 25 and they're maxing their items 25 you hard cap everyone at 20 or 25 whatever that number is so when you reach level 344 you'll be level 25 20 whatever that number is and then everyone hard caps at that level and then we're done with it but it can't be a system where you reach 344 out of 344 and this player has 25 and X player has 20. But they're still supposed to be playing the same game evenly. It doesn't make sense. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped you out, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. 
tell a friend to tell a friend. We need to get the conversation going. The more people that's talking about this, the faster things get fixed. Okay, so I posted this tweet this morning, right? Because I, I wanted answers. I posted the tweet. So I said, does the expertise system cap at 24? I know a player who's proficient 344 out of 344 and is capped at level 24. And then there is someone who is 250 out of 344, but they are at level 29. Can we get some clarity? So I'm asking them, Yannick, Morton Ryberg, Daria, the game, whoever, trying to get people to respond. So Morton Ryberg, he responds. He says, thanks for sharing. Do you have any images or video of this? I will seek out details and info. And thank you for responding so quickly. But to be honest, how do you not know? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, how do we not know what's going on, right? So, you know, I got people commenting and people sharing their photos. People, people in the community is agreeing. Like, it's broken. It's not, it's not working correctly. And then there's forums. There's more conversations of this. Um, I can leave the link in the description down below to this Ubisoft um, conversation right here. But this is where most of the conversations are happening. This is where most of the uh, information is going around. And most of the time when my community of people reach out to me to find out different things, I reach out to the developers and I reach out to them firsthand. And it's easier for me to get con conversations and you know things that were unclear about solved and fixed. Okay, guys, so as I'm actually editing this video, this is hap this all happening in real time, and I'm trying to get the content out there. Uh, Ryberg, shout outs to him. He's definitely being as transparent as he possibly can be. He has now responded with another tweet. The tweet says, please be aware that you should not delete your division account if you donated materials for expertise or start a new account. We are looking into the reports and would never make a system that will require this, the Division 2. So this is proof that just a conversation that I sparked on Twitter today has now gotten the people and the devs and everybody talking about things that we need to get changed. So this is why I think it's important for content creators to get as fully as involved as possible. And also, I want to show you guys uh, Tricky Dempsey also responded to my tweet. Because now this tweet has now um, is now garnered like everybody's coming through to comment on it. Um, so if you if you're not following me on Twitter, please make sure you do so. I'm gonna show you guys the tweet from uh, Tricky. If I can find it, all right, here we go. All right, so I like this. So as you can see, Tricky Dempsey responded to me and the Morton, Morton uh, Ryberg, she responded to the tweet that I posted earlier. And her response, her response was, since the progression is based on number of ranks rather than the number of items made proficient, it would be possible to have a very high expertise level with zero proficient items. She is saying it's possible to have a level that's high with zero items proficient that were all at rank nine. So to me, it's like, that's a broken system then. Like you're, you're actually admitting that the system is broken. So now she's asking, she's asking me, do I have a screenshot of the player that's 250 out of 344 expertise 29? I don't have a screenshot, but I told her I'm trying to get my hands on it. But this is, this is what I'm trying to express to you guys. This is a system that, you can gain expertise levels from doing other things. So I feel like as developers, as content creators, you have a responsibility to explain this thing to the T, to the nine, to everyone involved. So we all know what the grind is specifically and what we're working towards achieving. If we don't have that clarity, then we're all just grinding and we're all at the end of our grind we're all going to have different numbers. We're going to have different numbers. And, and to me, that's just kind of wild. All right, guys. So I thank you guys for having the patience with this video today. I had to get a lot in before I got up out of here. Um, this is something that I think is continuously going to be worked on. And I do believe we'll have a update, especially after me starting a conversation on Twitter. And now everybody's getting involved. Everybody's getting into it. Um, you'll probably see more creators talking about it. My goal is to get the conversation started so more people do start to talk about this because this is something that I'm passionate about. I love this game. 
So, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you stayed to the very end, I appreciate you guys for that. Uh, I'm sorry the video was so long, but it was just hard to get all this content into one video. And things were happening while I was editing the video. So I had to cop out, edit, get more comp in conversation into the video. But um, like I said, man, just push this out to as many people as possible. And, you know, I challenge you guys to just talk to your clan mates, the people that you're playing the game with, see where their grind is and kind of compare it to yours and see where your numbers are. And most likely they're going to, you guys, everybody's going to have different numbers. And y'all probably have the same grind, right? So let's look into that. But I appreciate you guys. I love all y'all. Peace.